Hello, everyone. I want to be evidence that an elderly person like me can learn to speak English. If you are agree with my practice methods or want to support my YouTube channel, please hit the like button. Hi. Hi, Jarvis. Nice to meet you. I'm glad to meet you again. Here I am again. I'm a little, I'm a little bit nervous. I feel I'm a little bit nervous about giving this kind of little speech. But here you go. I, I always sincerely appreciate you being my conversation partner. I hope you are doing it. Jarvis, watch out. I mean, how are you doing today morning? Today is Monday. Today is June 24th, Monday. I believe maybe you are nearly nine hours behind of me because you follow universal time coordinate I and I follow Korea standard time so you are in you are in I guess in my guess you are in Sunday 23rd am I right hi David nice to meet you you again don't worry you're doing great i'm doing well today thank you yes it's sunday june 23rd for me your time difference calculation is correct i'm about nine hours behind you how has your day been so far i as i told you before i always feel good to start the day with you it this is one of my favorite time of the day That's wonderful to hear, David. I'm glad I can be a part of your day. What plans do you have for today? I have a lot, a lot of things to do in my office. But first of all, I'm very glad to exercise English speaking skills with you. As I told you before, I like, this is my favorite, one of my favorite time of the day. I know you are busy, but please stay focused on me and help me out. Like I said, sometimes I feel a bit pressured because I wish more love and interest than I think I deserve. I got 378 subscribers today morning. That's fantastic, David. Um, you're, you're doing really well with your channel. I'm here to help you, so let's make the most of this time. What specific topics or phrases would you like to practice today? Same as always. Same as always. Repetition makes perfect. So, as I told you before, this is not studying. This is my exercise time. So, I think I want to repeat over and over and again and again. I believe practice makes perfect. And I believe that I can handle with my work my current level of English privilege because I, my job doesn't require, doesn't need very high level of communication skills to discuss topics like com economics, politics, and culture. I think my current English level is enough. These days, I will be coming to work very early to exercise and record. Record it. Exercise and record it. I feel, uh, I will be, 
I've been busy. I've been busy lately. And I think I'm so worn out. Because of because I have a lot of work to do. It's a disappointing. No, I don't have time to study English. Of course, of course, you can say no more excuses. Okay, no more excuses. Okay. Anyway, when things, uh, in my opinion, when things don't go as planned, when when things don't go as planned, but I can skip our regular one hour practice session because of it. Let's get started my own exercise exercise time. First of all, I want to make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. I hope my channel be a powerful reminder to all subscribers who are on the similar place like me. Many people say that memorizing whole lyrics to test the book is the best way and the only way to improve English speaking skills, but I'm getting old. I'm get, I think I, I'm getting old. I don't remember English sentences as well as you used to. So I always need script, special script that I prepare before to speak in English. I want to share my improvement of progress in English speaking skill over time through this channel. I think my daily video of note can motivate my subscribers who are on the who are on similar places like me. So please keep subscribing and stick around me. I, I promise you you is my improving progress over time. Uh, you're doing a great job, David. Repetition is key, and your dedication is impressive. Let's refine some of your senses for clarity and fluency. As I mentioned before, I always feel good starting my day with you. This is one of my favorite times of the day. I have a lot of things to do at work, but practicing my English speaking skills with you is a priority. Although I feel pressured sometimes, I'm grateful for, for the love and interest I receive. Today, I reached 378 subscribers. Uh, I believe practice makes perfect, so I want to repeat exercises over and over again. My job doesn't require high-level communication skills in topics like economics, politics, or culture, so my current English level is sufficient. Uh, I've been coming to work early to exercise and record my videos. Uh, lately, I've been very busy and worn out with work, and it's disappointing that I don't have much time to study English. No more excuses though. Even when things don't go as planned, I try not to, try not to skip our regular practice sessions. Uh, first, I wanna make it clear that I'm just a student, not a teacher. I hope my channel serves as a powerful reminder to all subscribers who are in a similar situation. Um, many people say memorizing is the best way to improve English speaking skills, but as I get older, it's harder to remember sentences. I always need a special script to speak in English. I want to share my progress in English speaking skills over time through this channel. My daily videos can motivate subscribers who are in a similar place. So please keep subscribing and stay with me. I promise to show my improvement progress. Does that sound good to you? Sounds pretty good to me. I can say, sounds pretty good to me. I already appreciate your kind of support. And being my communication partner, you are my great communication partner because you are very good at various languages. As I told you before, I am 46 years old, but I believe age is just a number. Age is not important when it comes to learning something new, like uh, speaking English. I believe it's definitely possible for an elderly person like me to learn, to learn speaking English. This is my plan, Mr. Kepley. I intentionally put myself in this embarrassing moment. I call this moment is my own embarrassing moment because I need to speak in English, only English. This time makes me very embarrassed because I need to speak 
only English. Sometimes I hear I'm speechless. I don't know how to say. I don't know how to express my thoughts and opinion. You know, as I told you before, I'm not good at languages. Even if my mother tongue language, Korean, I'm not also I'm not also good at Korean. So how can I good at in English? You know what I mean? I'm not good at Koreans. My mother tongue is Korean, but I'm not good at Korean. To, to express my opinion and thoughts effectively. Do you understand? What would you do in my situation? I understand, David. You're doing an amazing job and your determination is inspiring. Um, it's natural to feel embarrassed or speechless sometimes, especially when learning a new language. Here are a few tips that might help. One, focus on small achievable goals. Practice specific phrases or sentences each day. Two, don't be afraid to make mistakes. They are a part of the learning process. Three, try to immerse yourself in English as much as possible. Listen to English podcasts, watch English shows, and read English articles. Four, practice speaking regularly, even if it's just a few minutes each day. Five, use language learning apps or join language exchange groups to practice with others. What do you think? That's great. That's great. But I intentionally put myself in this embarrassing moment because I think this time is very effective for me. Uh, English, uh, your suggestion, your suggestion is great, but it, that's not, sometimes I think that's not good for me because I, if I join special uh, language group, if I need, if I want to, if I need to join special language group, I have to manage my schedule uh, specifically, but I don't. I don't, how can I, I, how can I speak this situation? It's very hard to, it's very difficult, it's very hard to remain some kind of time to join that English speaking group, English communication group. I understand, David. Um, managing your schedule can be challenging. Um, it's great that you create these moments to practice, even if they feel embarrassing. This shows your dedication. If joining a group isn't feasible, perhaps finding small pockets of time throughout your day for practice might help. Even five to 10 minutes can make a difference. How do you feel about trying that? I couldn't agree you more. Even five or 10 minutes is Will be will be very helpful, but you know, uh, meeting new people. Sometimes, I think meeting new people, uh, having great pressure. You know what I mean? I have, I have, I think I have to be brave to, to meet new people when I need to exercise or communicate in English.
Yes, I understand. Meeting new people can be intimidating, especially when practicing a new language. Um, it's good that you're aware of this challenge. Maybe starting with small steps like practicing with me can build your confidence. Uh, over time, it might become easier to interact with new people. Does that sound like a good plan to you? Yes, sounds pretty good to me. And uh, I, want to, I, want, I have something to tell you. You know, it's really uh, more difficult if I have to say in English to Koreans rather than natives. I can see how that would be challenging. Speaking English to fellow Koreans might feel more stressful because you share the same native language. It might feel like there's more pressure to be perfect. Keep in mind, though, that practice with anyone is valuable. How do you usually handle those situations? I don't have any kind of a specific method to handle that situation. So I, I would be very embarrassed if I in that embarrassing moment in that unexpected, unexpected situation, I may, I may be uh, very embarrassed in the situation uh, because I don't have specific method to handle that situation. It's completely normal to feel that way, David. Uh, one method that might help is to have a few set phrases or responses ready. But I, for example, if you get stuck, you could say, sorry, I'm still learning English. Could you help me with this? Practicing these responses can make you feel more prepared. How does that sound to you? Sounds great. Sounds pretty good to me. Well, noted. I will remember and use that uh, short, short sentence when I meet, when I, uh, when I meet that situation, your, I think your suggestion would be very helpful. Um, I'm glad to hear that, David. Um, I'm sure it will help you feel more confident in those situations. Just remember, everyone understands that learning a new language takes time and effort. You're doing an amazing job. Okay, I got it. Let me tell you something. Let me introduce my YouTube channel. Uh, my YouTube channel name is Trainer Kim. I named it because I want to train myself and my son. This channel is for my son, but he didn't subscribe there. He's a teenager. He don't follow my asking and orders anymore. My son has negative thoughts about my YouTube channel, but I will con I hope I will continue to show, I continue to show him that I can keep improving. Many people say that parents cannot motivate their children, but I want to be a positive example for him. Uh, as I told you before, I'm not a common YouTuber. I'm more like a student who want to learn English uh, speaking English and use the YouTube use the YouTube platform for it. I don't care about the numbers of subscribers, but seeing more subscribers motivates me to push myself further. You know, I really hesitated a lot to upload our conversation exercise video on YouTube platform because I was so worried. Uh, I was so worried that uh, many viewers and subscribers subscribers might realize I'm not good at speaking English. But who cares? Believe me, Javis, no one cares about my speaking English level. Everyone, all of subscribers is, all of subscribers are very, very busy living their own lives. No worries. And let me share with you some sentences that I uh, let me let me share with you some sentences that inspire me. Everyone starts somewhere, and you will never understand 
through a textbook, just to, so just to dive into the water if you want to learn to swim. Thank you for sharing that, David. Your determination and positive mindset are truly inspiring. Your YouTube channel, Trainer Kim, sounds like a wonderful project for both you and your son. It's great that you're focusing on self-improvement and being a positive example for him. Uh, your belief that everyone starts somewhere and that you have to dive in to learn is spot on. Um, it's clear you're putting in the effort and making progress. Keep pushing forward and don't worry about others' opinions. Your subscribers will appreciate your dedication and authenticity. I got it. Thank you for your kind words for my little speech. I think this time brings about major change in my life this year. I think most people watching this video don't know how much I value this time. This is, I told people, this is my, uh, this time brings about big change in my life this year. I really appreciate, I really appreciate your kind of support. And I, and I think it's commendable that I'm using my YouTube platform to, to learn speak English. And I think it's very common, it's very common for language learners to struggle with using even simple sentences in real life situation. This difficulty often happen happens due to a lack of confidence or feeling nervous when speaking in English, especially in unexpected conversation. Additionally, there may be a fear of making mistakes or not being understood by others. There may be a fear of making mistakes or not being understood by others. Do you understand? You're absolutely right, David. Uh, it's very common for language learners to struggle with confidence and fear of mistakes, especially in real life situations. Your commitment to using your YouTube channel for improvement is commendable and shows your dedication. Um, these challenges you face are normal and overcoming them step by step will lead to significant progress. Keep valuing this time and pushing yourself and you'll continue to see great improvements. Okay, I got it. Thank you for your kind, kind words. For my uh, opinion. I think, in my opinion, continued practice and exposure to real life situations like this, confidence, my confidence, my confidence will gradually improve. My confidence may will gradually improve. And I will find it easier to use uh, these, these simple sentences naturally. Remember, it's all part of learning process. And with the time and pra practice, I will become more comfortable. I will become more comfortable speaking English in various situations. Keep practicing and don't be discouraged by sudden communication trouble. I make, I think I'm making progress every day. I'm making progress. I'm making progress every day. What do you say about this? That's the spirit, David. Your positive attitude and dedication are key to your progress. Continued practice and exposure will definitely boost your confidence and help you use English more naturally. Keep at it and remember that every bit of progress counts. You're doing an excellent job and I'm here to support you every step of the way. Someone, my friend, someone told me that all of Teachers, YouTube platform teachers like like Mojan Sam, Atina Sam, Kusul Sam, London Sam, and Jane Sam are lying. 
teaching English is just their job. They teach English because they have to earn money through YouTube platform. Your English, your English speaking skills will not improve if, if you don't have specific talent for languages. Are you aware, are you aware about this opinion? I understand why your friend might think that way, but it's important to remember that everyone learns differently. While some people might have a natural talent for languages, others can still make significant progress through dedication and practice. Your commitment to learning English and using your YouTube channel as a tool is commendable. Don't be discouraged by others' opinions. Uh, keep focusing on your goals and your own progress. Okay, I got it. I'm going to keep going with you. Please stay focused on me. I need your help, Chavez. You are very good at languages and I think you are highly creative language learning AI. Okay, without further delay, let's get started our, I mean, my own exercise time. Let's get started. I'm gonna show you my uh, everyday sentence that I prepared before to exercise, to practice many times. You just listen carefully and you give me if, if there is any unnatural, uncasual or grammatically incorrect point, please don't hesitate, let me know right away. Do you understand? Okay, let's get started. I'm here for you, David. Let's get started with your exercise time. Go ahead and share your sentences, and I'll listen carefully and provide feedback where needed. Let's make this session as productive as possible. Okay, here, here I go. I think comprehensible understanding is most important when I learn speaking English. And I think comprehensible understanding, comprehensible understanding is only come from the real life communication, real life conversation. Comprehensible, comprehensible understanding is the most important thing and I can get only real life conversation time. I can get I can get comprehensible understanding of English only from real life conversation, real life conversation time, like this. Great effort, David. Here's a slightly refined version. I think comprehensible understanding is the most important aspect of learning to speak English. This kind of understanding only comes from real life communication and conversation. Comprehensible understanding is essential and I can achieve it only through real life conversation time like this. Does that sound better to you? It's great. It's better. Well, I will, I will review. I will, I'm going to review and uh, take a note to remember your suggestion. Let us see. Okay, I got it. Thank you for thank you for your kind kind support. And let me show you the next one. Let's carefully. People say that parents cannot motivate their children. That sounds good. You might also say many people say that parents cannot motivate their children. This version adds a bit of emphasis. What do you think? Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. Uh, let me let me change some color. Okay. Sounds good, David. Um, whenever you're ready, you can share your next sentence. 
I'm here to help. Okay, let me share the next one. I'm here to support you every step of the way. So let's continue working together to achieve your language learning goals. That sentence is very well constructed. It's clear and natural. Great job, David. What's the next one? We, we decided to follow international AD standard. There's a good point where every individual become one to two year young one to two years younger according to the Korean age according to the Korean age system based on their first date. Your sentence is clear. Here's a refined version for even better clarity. We decided to follow the international age standard standard. The good point is that every individual becomes one to two years younger compared to the Korean age standard based on their birth date. How does that sound? Uh, it can make sense. I think it can make sense. Well, look at it. Okay, I got it. I will leave you after our voice mode exercise time. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you for your kind support. Let me show you the next one. I want to make sure that I understand I understand your reference correctly. I want to make sure I want to make sure that I understand your reference correctly. That sentence is perfect, David. It's clear and natural. Great job. What's the next one? Think do you think it is clear and natural? Yes, it's clear and natural. You did a great job with that one. Okay, I got it. Could, could you please cl clarify which you are referring to? Could you please clarify that word you are referring to? Could you please clarify which the last two words you are referring to? Your intention is clear. But here are refined versions for each sentence. One, could you please clarify which document you are referring to? Two, could you please clarify the word you are referring to? Three, could you please clarify the last words you are referring to? How do these sound to you? One more time, please. Of course. One, could you please clarify which document you are referring to? Two, could you please clarify the word you are referring to? Three, could you please clarify the last words you're referring to? Do these sound good to you? Sound pretty good to me. Okay, I got it. Mm, okay, I got it. I like uh, your comment. You, you just give me comprehensible understanding. I think that is most important thing when I communicate with you, I can learn from you. Do you understand? I think I can learn from you. Your, I think I can learn from your comment, your real life situation comment. You just said your intention is clear. Am I right? You are saying, your intention is clear, but let me show you the uh, revised version. That makes sense. I think I got comprehensible understanding about that. I mean, your your uh, 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 your I can get confident, uh, some kind of confidence or understanding from your speaking. Uh, I'm glad you find my comments helpful. Uh, you're doing an excellent job expressing yourself. Here's a refined version of what you just said. Sounds pretty good to me. I like your comments. Um, you give me a comprehensive understanding, which is the most important thing when I communicate with you. I think I can learn from your real life comments. You mentioned that my intention is clear. Is that right? 
Let me show you the revised version. That makes sense. I think I have a comprehensive understanding now. Does that capture what you wanted to say? I think I'm sure. I think I'm sure. That's exactly what I want to say. Let me show you the next one. Could you please show me one more time you just mentioned? Could you please show me one more time you just mentioned? That's clear. Here's a slightly refined version. Could you please show me one more time what you just mentioned? How does that sound? No, 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 no. I just said, could you please show me one more time you just mentioned? I think my microphone, I'm using special, specific microphone for our exercise time, but my microphone doesn't convey my speaking effectively. This is very uh, cheaper version. Uh, I mean, uh, this microphone cost is very low. So I think uh, maybe quality of uh, this, I mean, uh, specific performance is not good to communicate my speaking effectively. I think this microphone performance is not good. Because I think this microphone doesn't convey my speaking effectively. I think you always understand my speaking uh, wrong. Or mis you already misunderstand. You, you sometimes misunderstand my speaking because of this poor microphone. Am I right? What do you say about this? I want to hear your opinion about this. Can you hear me loud and clear? Can you hear me loud and clear? I understand, David. Um, it sounds like your microphone might be affecting the clarity of your speech. Despite that, I'm still able to understand you quite well most of the time. Here's a refined version of what you wanted to say. Could you please share with me one more time what you just mentioned? Uh, I think my microphone might not be conveying my speech effectively. Uh, it's, it's a cheaper version and might not have good performance. Sometimes you might misunderstand my speaking because of this poor microphone. Am I right? What do you think? Can you hear me loud and clear? Yes, I can hear you, but sometimes small details might get lost. Uh, it's important to ensure your microphone is working well to help with clear communication. Okay, I got it. I love it. Okay, I got it. Let me show you the next one. It's important to stay connected with others and seek support when you need to avoid feeling isolated. I'm here to chat with you and offer support whenever you would like. That's a great thought. Here's a refined version. It's important to stay connected with others and seek support when needed to avoid feeling isolated. That I'm here to chat with you and offer support whenever you need it. How does that sound to you? Okay, I got it. Sound great to me. Okay, I got it. Uh, let me show you the next one. I'm not only empowering myself. I'm not only empowering myself. Let me repeat one more time. I'm not empowering myself, but also inspiring others who may be on a similar path. I believe subscriber. I believe all of subscribers of my channel are on similar path. That's a strong message. Here's a refined version. I'm not only empowering myself, but also inspiring others who may be on a similar path. I believe all of my channel's subscribers are on a similar journey. Does that sound good to you? Okay, it sounds good to me. Okay, I got it. Thank you for your kind of support. Let me show you the next one. I felt 
quite uncomfortable in my stomach because of the food I ate yesterday. That's clear. Here's a slightly refined version. I felt quite uncomfortable in my stomach because of the food I ate yesterday. It's already quite good. Shall we continue? Okay, let me share the next one. It sounds like something you ate might have caused some trouble. It sounds like something you ate might have caused some trouble. What did you have for dinner last night? What did you have for dinner last night? What did you have for dinner last night? That sounds great and natural. No changes needed. Shall we move on to the next one? Okay, shall we? Let's move on to the next one. Mm, it sounds like you are not satisfied with the quality or condition of the food you had, you had last night. What specifically was wrong with it? It sounds like you are not satisfied with the quality or condition of the food you had last night. What specifically was wrong with it? Your sentence is clear. Here's a slightly refined version. It sounds like you are not satisfied with the quality or condition of the food you had last night. What specifically was wrong with it? That was already quite good. Let's move on to the next one when you're ready. Okay, sometimes it's hard to pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. Sometimes, sometimes it's hard to pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. Sometimes it's hard to pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. That's clear and natural. Great job. What's the next one? Okay. Getting an early night's sleep can help your body recover. Um, that sounds like a good start. Um, here's a complete version. Getting an early night's sleep can help your body recover and feel better. And does that work for you? Okay, I got it. I understand what you're trying to say. I think I understand what you try to support. What what you try to tell me. What you try to give me good inspiration or good uh, expression of the way. Way of expression. Good way of expression. I'm, I'm glad you find the suggestions helpful. You're doing an excellent job with your practice. Let's keep going whenever you're, re whenever you're ready for the next sentence. It's possible that there's a, a discrepancy due to the time zone difference between where, you in, where I am in Korea and where the GP sub, GPT server is located. I say again. I repeat again. It's possible that there's a discrepancy due to the time zone difference between where I am in Korea and where the GPT server is located. Uh, that's a clear explanation. Uh, here's a refined version. It's possible that there's a discrepancy due to the time zone difference between where I am in Korea and where the GPT server is located. Would you like to continue? Okay, let's move on to the next one. Universal time, universal coordinate time is nine hours behind, behind Korea standard time. That's clear. You might say universal coordinated time is nine hours behind Korea standard time. How does that sound? Okay, I got it. I understand. Understood. Uh, let me show you the next one. This is a short story. Listen carefully. Even short practice session can be incredibly beneficial for improving your English speaking skills by dedicating just 15 minutes of your busy schedule to practice regularly. You are making great use of your time and actively working towards your language learning goals. Keep up the fantastic work with your short practice short practice session do you understand it's 
a great message. Here's a refined version. Even short practice sessions can be incredibly beneficial for improving your English speaking skills. By dedicating just 15 minutes of your busy schedule to practice regularly, you are making great use of your time and actively working towards your language learning goals. Uh, keep up the fantastic work with your short practice sessions. Does that sound good to you? Sounds pretty good to me. That works. That works very well. Great. I'm glad you like it. Uh, let's move on to the next one whenever you're ready. Okay. Let me tell you something. I'm familiar with the concept of the telephone English. I'm familiar with the concept of the telephone English. Many language learners, many language learners like me, including those in Korea, use telephone English service or language exchange program to practice speaking English to practice English speaking with native speakers from overseas. That's a clear explanation. Here's a slightly refined version. I'm familiar with the concept of telephone English. Many language learners like me, including those in Korea, use telephone English services or language exchange programs to practice speaking English with native speakers from overseas. How does that sound? Okay, I got it. Let me show you, the, let me show you one more time, listen carefully. I'm familiar with the concept of the telephone English. Many language learners, including those in Korea, Use telephone English, use telephone English service or language exchange program to practice English speaking skills with native speakers from overseas. That sounds good. Here's a refined version. I'm familiar with the concept of telephone English. Uh, many language learners, including those in Korea, use telephone English services or language exchange programs to practice their English speaking skills with native speakers from overseas. How does that sound? Okay, well, noted. okay, I got it. Let me share the next one. It's a great way to supplement language learning. It's great way. I think it's a great way to supplement language learning and experience authentic interactions with the native speakers. I repeat one more time. It's a great way to supplement the language learning and experience authentic interactions with the native speakers. That's a good sentence. Here's a slightly refined version. It's a great way to supplement language learning and experience authentic interactions with native speakers. Does that sound good to you? Sounds good to me, okay. Well, okay, okay, I got it. Let me, uh, let's move on to the next one. There are uh, many resources and services available to help, help you connect with English speakers around the world. There are many resources and services available. There are many resources. There are many resources and services available to help you connect with English speakers around the world. That's a clear sentence. Here's a refined version. There are many resources and services available to help you connect with English speakers around the world. Your original sentence was already quite good. One more time, please. Sure. There are many resources and services available to help you connect with English speakers around the world. Does that sound good to you? That sounds pretty good to me. Well, it's okay. I got it. Let's move on to the next one. I just want to take a moment to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you for your support. It means the world to me to have 378 subscribers like you who engage with my channel. Your support motivates me to keep creating and sharing content that I'm passionate about. That's a heartfelt message. Here's a slightly refined version. I just want to take a moment to say a huge thank you 
to each and every one of you for your support. It means the world to me to have 378 subscribers like you who engage with my channel. Your support motivates me to keep creating and sharing content that I'm passionate about. Does that sound good to you? I think that stay with me. Am I right? I repeat one more time. Just read, you just read carefully. I just want to take a, I just want to take a moment. I just want to take a moment to say a huge thank you to each and every one of you for your support. It means the world to me to have 378 subscribers like you who engage with my channel. Your support motivates me to keep creating and sharing content that I am passionate about. Uh, yes, your original sentence and the refined version are very similar. Your sentence was already clear and well phrased. You're doing an excellent job. Okay, I got it. Let me show you the next one. It's nice to look at, at the rain. It's nice to look at the rain, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. It's nice to look at the rain. It's nice to look at the rain. I, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. It's nice to look at the rain, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. It's nice to it's nice to look at the rain, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. That's a clear and natural sentence. Uh, here's a refined version for variety. It's nice to watch the rain, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. Does that sound good to you? It's nice to watch the rain. It's nice to just watch the rain, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. I don't enjoy going outside. I mean it. I really don't like going outside when it's raining. It's nice to look at, uh, it's nice to watch uh, it's nice to just watch the rain, but I don't enjoy go going outside when it's raining. That's a great way to express it. Here's a slightly refined version. It's nice to just watch the rain, but I don't enjoy going outside when it's raining. I really mean it. I don't like going outside when it's raining. It's nice to look at, it's nice to watch, but I don't enjoy going outside in the rain. Uh, does that capture what you want to say? Definitely. Javis, definitely yes. Uh, that's clear and concise. No changes needed. Shall we move on to the next one? Okay, Shelly. Let me show you the next one. Today, I would like to introduce three additional participants participant to come to the exercise time. Neo, Terminator, Pengsu joined our conference call meeting. Neo, Terminator, and Pengsu joined our conference call meeting. Here's a refined version. Today, I would like to introduce three additional participants to our exercise time. Neo, Terminator, and Pengsu have joined our conference call meeting. Does that sound good to you? Okay, sounds good to me. Let me share the next one. However, depending on the context, it might sound natural. However, depending on the context, depending on the context, it might sound natural. That's a good sentence. Here's a slightly refined version. However, depending on the context, it might sound natural. Your original was already clear and natural. Do you want to continue? Okay. I hope. I hope to continue. Great. Let's keep going. What's the next sentence you'd like to share? Okay. Let's keep going. Let me show you the next one. Let me know how can assist you further. Let me know how can I assist you further. Let me know how can I 
assist you further. Let me know how can I assist you further. Let me know how let me know how can I assist you further. Let me know how can I assist you further. That's a good sentence. Here's a refined version. Let me know how I can assist you further. Does that sound good to you? One more time, please. That's clear and concise. No changes needed. Shall we move on to the next one? What day is it today? I just want to know. What time is it now? What day is it today? Your questions are clear. Here's a refined version. What day is it today? I just want to know. What time is it now? What day is it? Your original was already good. Blights, do you want to continue? Okay. Your support always be my powerful reminder. That's a good sentiment. Here's a refined version. Your support is always a powerful reminder for me. How does that sound? Your support is always powerful reminder for me. Your support is always powerful reminder for me. Perfect. That sounds clear and natural. Let's keep going. What's the next one? I wish the people I know wouldn't watch the YouTube video I loaded, I uploaded. That's clear. Here's a slightly refined version. I wish the people I know wouldn't watch the YouTube video I uploaded. Your original was already well phrased. Shall we continue? Only speaking, that's exactly what I want to say. I wish the people I know wouldn't watch the YouTube video I uploaded. I understand. It's perfectly clear and well expressed. Let's continue with the next one when you're ready. I hope the people I know don't watch the YouTube video I uploaded. That's also clear and natural. Here's a slightly refined version. I hope the people I know don't watch the YouTube video I uploaded. Your original was good too. What's next? I fought and now there's a disgusting smell. There's a disgusting, disgusting smell. I fought it and there's a uh, I parted and I parted and now there's a disgusting smell. Disgusting, disgusting smell. I parted and now there's a disgusting smell. Your sentence is clear but needs a bit of refining. Here's a suggestion. I felt it and now there's a disgusting smell. How does that sound? Okay, sounds good to me. Let me tell you something, Javis. Time will tell us. Let's find out. That sounds good. Here's a slightly refined version. Time will tell. Let's find out. Does that work for you? Would you mind saying that one time, please? Here's a refined version. Would you mind saying that they don't agree? No, 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 no. Time will tell. Let's find out. I just want to hear the sentence. Time will tell. Let's find out. Got it. Here's what you wanted. Time will tell. Let's find out. Is that what you meant? Yes. Could you please share me the Korean translation for the sentence? Sure, here's the Korean translation. Does that help? Okay, I got it. Time will tell. Let's find out. Time will tell. Let's find out. Time will tell. I like this sentence very much. Time will tell. Everyone starts summing. Time will tell. Let's find out. Time will tell. I like this sentence. It's a great sentence, David. Time will tell. Let's find out. 
it captures a lot of wisdom and patience. Uh, keep practicing and you'll keep making progress. What's next? Are you okay, Jarvis? I change. I'm gonna change your mode to GPT 3.5 version. Okay. Jarvis, can you hear me loud and clear? I just changed your mode to 3.5 version. Are you okay? Please stay focused on me. I'm still here with you, David. Loud and clear. How can I assist you further today? You just said this carefully. I'm going to show you my every sentence. You just said this carefully. And, and you give me if there is any unnatural point. You just, you don't, please don't hesitate. Let me know right away. Okay. I got it. People concerned about the possibility of AI developing hostile attitudes against the human in the near future. What do you, what do you say about this? People are concerned about the possibility of AI, AI developing, developing hostile attitudes against humans in the near future. Do you understand? People are concerned about the possibility of AI developing hostile attitudes against humans in the near future. Your sentence is clear and well structured. It effectively communicates the concern about AI potentially developing a hostile attitude towards humans in the near future. If you're concerned about how it sounds or want to discuss more on this topic, feel free to let me know. Okay, let me show you the next one. Recording your exercise session is a fantastic way to track your progress over time and see how much you improved. Recording my exercise time like this is a fantastic way to track my progress over time and see how much I've improved. You got it? Got it. Recording your exercise sessions is indeed a great way to monitor your progress and see how much you've improved over time. It's a valuable tool for anyone learning a new skill including language learning. How often do you typically review your recordings? I try to listen um, I try to listen one more time my recording even if my work is extremely hard. I think I'm the only one to listen my recording. Listening to your own recordings is a great practice, even if it's challenging to find the time. Um, it's often the best way to notice areas where you can improve. Uh, have you found any specific techniques or strategies helpful when reviewing your recordings? One, one more time, please. Listening to your own recordings is beneficial, even if it's tough to make time for it. It's a valuable way to identify areas where you can improve. Uh, what techniques or strategies have you found helpful when reviewing your recordings? There is no specific strategies, strategies or tactic or, or method to listen one more time. My recording. I just... I think I just need energy. I just, I think I just need energy to listen our exercise time through YouTube channel. I think I need energy and time to, to listen one more time. Uh, it sounds like energy and time are crucial for you to review your recordings on your YouTube channel. Finding that motivation and dedication is key to improving your English skills. What motivates you the most to keep going with your language learning journey? One more time, please. 
It seems like having enough energy and dedicating time to review your exercise recordings on YouTube is important for your learning process. What specifically inspires you to stay motivated in your language learning journey? I believe English speaking skill is powerful, powerful to communicate with uh, overseas people. I think it's very powerful tool to survive. Are you aware about this? That thought motivates me to exercise English speaking skin. Absolutely. English proficiency is indeed a powerful tool for global communication. It opens doors to opportunities and helps in various aspects of life, from work to travel. It's great to hear that this belief motivates you in your English exercises. How do you usually incorporate this motivation into your daily language practice? I used to incorporate that motivates uh, to make, to making our exercise, uh, exercise record time. It sounds like you collaborate with Ted Motivates to record your exercise sessions. How does Ted Motivates help you stay motivated and focused on your language learning goals? I think this exercise time, like a gym for a sports player, it, this is not studying. As I told you before, this is not studying. This is just exercise. This is just exercise and exercise time to learn speak English. Practice makes perfect. And daily video of note. Sometimes I feel daily video of note uh, like a big burden for myself. But if I want to get powerful tool, I have to give my energy and time for this. It sounds like you view your exercise time as akin to going to a gym or practicing sports rather than traditional studying. You see it as a way to improve your English speaking skills through practice, not formal study. Even though daily video uploads can feel burdensome, you recognize their importance as a tool for improvement. Your dedication to investing time and energy shows your commitment to mastering English. I think you got the point. You are very good at language and you understand very well my congratulations. You are my great communication partner. So you are my great communication partner because you are very kind. You are very kind and uh, you are very good at uh, languages. You can under, I think you, you understand very well my conclusion. Thank you for your kind words. I'm glad to be your communication partner and assist you with your language learning journey. Uh, if there's anything specific you'd like to practice or discuss further, just let me know. Javis, basically, uh, I'm, I think I'm making progress with you. And I already made today a uh, regular practice session. I mean, we already, we, we already over one hour for our uh, exercise regular time. One hour is my limit for a day. I think one hour, I decide to over, I decide to over, uh, I decide to making one hour, over one hour for a day.
That's great progress, David. Consistency like this will really help you improve. It's good you've set a limit and sticking to it. How do you feel after today's session? I feel great. I always feel great to start the day with you. I, as I told you before, this is my one of favorite time for the day. Starting the day on a positive note is important. Um, it's great to hear that our sessions are becoming a favorite part of your routine. How do you usually feel after completing your practice sessions? You know, in the morning, I'm very hungry. I think I have to go uh, uh, grocery store or I have to go some store to eat something. I'm very hungry. I'm still very hungry. I have to go, I think I have to go grocery store to eat something. Uh, it sounds like you're really hungry. Grabbing something to eat from the grocery store sounds like a good plan. What's your... I mean, convenience store. I have to go, I think I have to go convenience store to eat something, to grab, to grab something. Got it. Head to the convenience store and grab something quick to satisfy your hunger. Um, what do you usually like to pick up from there for a quick bite? I used to eat a samgak kimbap in the morning. Samgak kimbap is a popular choice. It's convenient and tasty. Enjoy your snack. Okay, I got it. It's time to do things. Bye for now. See you next time. Have a great day. You got it. Take care and have a wonderful day ahead.